Wake up, Annie, I think, I think I got something to walk you to. It's late, truck, timber, and my raptor's only made for two. I know I'm big on you, too, but I feel I'm being caduced. Oh, Annie, I couldn't have tried any less. I mess up my ad reads, then I go piss in the sink. Audio is king, and that's what really counts. One take. Welcome back to Tim Mesa Shop. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate you joining us. As always, join the Patreon. Ever heard of it? If you like, we just uh, we just watched Matt Reif's uh, movie. He yeah. did a movie with Jamie Kennedy called Don't Suck. And if you want to know how we thought about it, check it out. <laughs> it sucked. It's not not too good. Yeah. We also did a scathing review of Nadav from the YMH. Yeah. Yeah, dude. He had some things to say about Reddit. Yeah. Which we didn't like. No. We discussed the podcast here, Bob. But. Check out our other show, Raccoon Tweeties. It moved to Thursday now. Yes, instead sir. Instead of Mondays. Um, Gerard, do you have any shows to plug? I got a bunch of shows, but just follow me on Instagram. I mm-hmm. wanted to say real quick, right. Gerard, at Gerardo Comedy. <laughs> a little plug right there. You like that? Big dick. Sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to say <laughs> thank you to everyone that subscribed last week. Dude, we got way more subscribers than usual last week. Oh, on, on YouTube? Yeah. Nice. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. Shout Appreciate out to all you. And subscribe, you fucking duck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Make sure you to um, gadoosh that like button. Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> all right. But anyways, that's not what you're here. No, nah, dude. No, what you're here for is to watch 10 minutes of shop. So start the timer. Play the chin clip. All righty. So uh, we've. Uh, I wanted to start off hot today, dude. So I had to get the my favorite clip of the week first. Mm-hmm. It's called Huh by Haphazard, dude. I oh, think you've already legend. seen this. I'm not going to sugarcoat this thing. I'm not going to put sugar all over your wiener and tell you it's delicious. This is, uh... <laughs> if there's one thing he's not going to do, it's going to be not no, putting not... sugar all over your wiener. No, and, and telling you it's delicious. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, it's it's one of the best clips I've ever seen. I can't believe it didn't go viral. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a numbers guy, but I'm looking at that, and I'm like, 421, Diddy? Yeah. Should be near 1,000. Isn't this what the Reddit's for? We discuss the podcast, dude. This, this is really what it's all about. Yeah. I'm not going to sugarcoat this, man. I'm not going to put sugar all over your dick and say it's delicious. That's actually kind of, I mean, it's so it's so out there. It's like absurd comedy. I, this, it, it, it's almost unironically funny, him saying that. Yeah. But it... You know, you go back to the weird sort of, he does all this gay shtick that's horrible, yeah. such as part of that. But yeah. it's the best version of that I've ever seen. I mean, a, a gay broken clock is right twice a day, right? You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Your best brains. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go to the next one. I wanted to start hot, dude, so we got this one. It's called Get Parts for Your Truck Delivered with O'Reilly Auto Parts Ad Edit, <laughs> posted by Examblor. <laughs> let's see this one, dude. Getting the parts you need, when you need them, has never been easier. (laughs) Shop online at O'ReillyAuto.com and choose same-day curbside, same-day pickup, or free next-day delivery to your doorstep. If you need the job done today, get the parts today. Oh, oh, O'Reilly. Auto parts. (laughs) Ow! Ow! (laughs) Sign him up. Yeah, dude. Okay, you've seen the workshop is done. Yeah. He knows promo codes. He knows <laughs> trucks. He knows truck guys. He has yeah. his own show, Truck Toontown. Yep. He's also a car guy. Mm-hmm. He knows, knows a lot about cars. So auto, uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts, what are we doing here? Yeah. Get him mm-hmm. signed up. And you know what else goes good with trucks? What? Fish. Thank God. Right. He's your guy. You can put fish right in the back of the, the truck. Yep. It's got plenty of space for all your tanks. For your arowanas and your, your blowers and superchargers, superchargers, catfish, yeah, you know, bearded, bearded bunch dragons, of bunch of vowels, bearded dragons, mm-hmm. yep, dogs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Basically, the the um, engine combustion system of a truck is a lot like a fish's playground. <laughs> <laughs> Shab is like a Doctor Doolittle, you know, yeah. with his truck it has all the animals and stuff in the back. <laughs> yeah. He's just driving around, just being funny and goofy, yeah. a man of all 
man of, or jack of all trades. Yeah, a lion of the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. A all jack right. trader. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this one, uh, we're, we're going to keep it going here. This one's posted by Ronde X-E-A-X-E. It's called The Cooler You Look, The Funnier the Special. Let's oh, see yeah, what this is, fun. dude. It's fun, but it's not actually, like, cool. You know what I mean? Well, it's I, a fun. No, I, I think it's cool, obviously, but I'm <laughs> saying it's, like, it's a fun rap song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tough to pick an intro song for a special without taking yourself too seriously. Mm -hmm. Without taking yourself too seriously. Mm -hmm. And now! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the Fighter and the Kid podcast, this <laughs> is the moment you've all been waiting for. And below the belt on Showtime, give it up! It's tough to pick an intro song for a special without taking yourself too seriously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fun, but it's not actually like cool. Oh man, dude, <laughs> so well edited. You know, Ed, the there's thing about the difference between Schultz and the uh, UFC fighters that come out to that. You know, in the red corner. These yeah. are guys that have trained their whole lives. Some of them are from like favelas in Brazil, and they're literally putting their life on the line. So when the guys like in the red corner, fighting out of whatever, it's like a big deal. And then Schultz is just like a guy doing stand up, and he comes out and he's like, "Black people can't swim." <laughs> <laughs> this guy's Somalian. <laughs> yeah, look at this Somalian ass dude. Oh, you just got off the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, you, you should have the chair on stage. Yeah. We can slap it. Yeah, let's not focus on intro songs. Dude. Let's focus on cheers, fucking slapping them. Get our caution there. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I want to just have like um, George from TFAK be like, hey, coming to the stage is first ever uh, headlining show or first ever special. Brandon Cooney. And then I go out. I want to have George do it. Yeah, pay him a dude. lot of money instead of Bruce Buffer. And then your first joke is firing him. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we had to fire that guy because uh, he's going on to bigger and better things. He's going to do Gerardo's one. Next. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of opportunities. I'll thank you to me, Cooney. Uh, all right, let's go to this next one, dude. Um, you see how I got a little bit of variety up top here, you know, let's get a little, let's just check in with chin and a little later in the episode, we'll check in with chin again. How about that? Okay. Big dick. Sorry about that. This one's posted by PP stains in the front. It's called chin demonstrates how to properly rot a fish caught in garbage, uh, garbage filled water for sashimi. Let's see here. All right, my friends, I will be doing one of the more scarier catch and cooks. I got this guy in Marina del Rey with me, little brows and Taylor. Uh, I was able to catch an opali, and opali are not typically big fish, so this was actually a pretty decent sized one. Here she is. I have big hands, so probably doesn't look as big. We caught this opali off a jetty in Marina del Rey, and no joke, we saw trash bags floating by, we saw a used condom, a giant used condom that just floated right, right by us. Yeah, and it's, it's probably just like being in Thick Boy Studios, you know? Trash and used condoms and <laughs> people pissing in the sink. Dead fired interns. <laughs> yeah, 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 dead interns. <laughs> can't he can't escape it. Yeah. Everywhere he goes is turned into TFK just like us. Yeah. Like he's at home and he's still talking about fish. Yeah. This yeah. Is, I would be like, can't can't you like take a you know, it's like nine to five, dude. Clock out, but you're still talking about fish. What are we doing here? I said, what are we doing here on a set I bombed the other day? Oh, really? Yeah. Good. I was like, a lot of people drinking alcohol on here. Where's the water? You know what I mean? <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> and one guy laughed super hard in the front row. I mean, it's just fun to say on stage, even Hawk. if it doesn't, even if it doesn't crush. Yeah. I still enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, what do you think about a fish next to a used condom? That, that is, oh, yeah. Why would you eat a fish that you caught near a used condom? Yeah, the best brains. That went over my head. I didn't notice that. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, no, that's also troublesome. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't probably want to. Let me show you how to uh, cook this fish that 
fucking may have jizz on it. Or got fucked too. Yeah. Got, somebody might have fucked someone the fucked chick. the face. Yeah. <laughs> or took a bite. He's like, there's no bite out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. I froze this for a couple days and I thawed it out for two and a half days now, three days probably. So apparently <laughs> you're not supposed to eat raw thawed or frozen fish. Is that, I don't know. I, I don't not, know anything about cooking. We're the worst brains for these arts, B. Yeah, I'm just here to let him cook. Yeah, let him cook. So, and I'm going to actually try to do sashimi with this and then also fry it up. So, let's see what happens. Hit one scale just lands on my face. <laughs> it just looks wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Are you supposed to just put the fish in the sink? Isn't that where you piss? Yeah, you're supposed to piss. Uh-huh. I'll stock this in the freezer. Man, this is sketchy. <laughs> As much as I want to do a sashimi, the meat is just, it's so mushy now, so I'm wondering if it's just been in the fridge too long. That's disgusting, dude. Mm. And you want to moisten your sharpening stone. <laughs> the smell is even a little odd, too, right? Babe, don't do it. The smell's a this little odd. This is what we're going to make sashimi His girlfriend with. said don't <laughs> eat it. Babe, I made a decision. I'm going to do it. I'm going to taste how the first one is. See, this, this, you don't want to risk stuff with fish. Yeah. If you're going to risk anything about food, don't do it with fish. But I think probably don't do it with any food. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-mm. I know something's wrong. Spit it out. Yeah. Here goes mushy nothing. Mm-hmm. Into the soy sauce. Here we go. Condom fish. <laughs> that's that's on his menu. <laughs> Here we go again. Bite number two. This is gross. Yeah, I don't like it. By the condom and <laughs> I mean, the ocean's filled with trash regardless, you know? We just we see it more along the shore. Self gadoosh. Okay. Yeah. I'll just do one more piece. Number three. His girlfriend is like the subreddit right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh really dude <laughs> we got another condom fish over at chins <laughs> that's what the emt said when they showed up they're like why is he what happened oh he ate some fish he caught near a condom oh really dude <laughs> good dude <laughs> <laughs> oh one of my favorite comments said uh this video is fake because you can't hear any gunshots <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a uh, cgi or what is it called? Deep fake. Oh, I just closed one of the videos. Fuck oh, me. Oh, man. You got to do that reopen. I don't know. You can just do the reopen closed tab. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll look for it when we're talking right, here. Right. Uh, all right. So let's go to the next one. PP stains in the front. Experience high quality pod by professional entertainers. <laughs> um, something tells me it's not going to be that. No. Nah. <laughs> all right. This is a lot like Raccoon Tweeties. Ooh, are we both on the phone? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Can't put Kimbo in. Are you putting Kimbo in? I'm saying no. Chill. I love that your phone messed up and you're talking all that shit. Look at my goddamn arm. Dude, Chill. What the what hell? The fuck? Did we just lose him? Oh, you there, buddy? It's breaking up. <laughs> I think your 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 reception's bad, Chill. Chill is pretending people. to not be able to. Okay. <laughs> that work well in rodeo Why they will look at it over the course of a year Why did she bring the dog to work yeah. judo will go over the, the course of, of a year they will have different class a tournaments that's there is hulk hogan why he didn't know the difference between a wrist lock and a wrist watch but he <laughs> yep all right <laughs> what do you got jen you guys want current events we're at 125 right now oh, okay uh, is there you guys are they uh, is there any good ones or? obviously trump winning the iowa like a he landslide in iowa yeah. he's gonna be your president one. unless they put him in jail yeah Break, stop it there. And they used to have to trap dudes, gay dudes that were fucking in the sauna and stuff. And trap them. Call the cops. Call the cops. Hold the trap. I thought the cops came because it was right next to a police station. That's how people die, bro. That's For how real. Cool. Don't you trap me in the sauna and make me fuck my way out. Because <laughs> <laughs> I. Hey, bro, with the line of the night. Because I will do it, sir. I will do it. Don't don't put me in the sauna and make me tell your dick's delicious. Whatever he says, <laughs> I'll, I'll put some sugar on that sauna dick, dude. 
I want them to do more of that though. Like they're both on the phone, but like bring in laptops and they can both be on the laptop. Yeah. Have Brian start doing his taxes and <laughs> <Yeah>. shit. <laughs> Fucking maybe have a, a third or 12th job. Job should do like, he should do the shop show while he's doing drug diaries. Exactly. Be Just more, more like give him more to do yeah, on screen. I want more angles of this content. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> have him interrupt T-Fat K with like a fight prediction, you know? The prob- the problem with that is um, the way they had that set up is they have Chael Sonnen on the phone, yeah. right, I'm assuming, and he's got CT2, so he can't even tell that he's not on. Yeah. He can't hear the crackling shit. Yeah. It's just too much going on. Um, I think this might have been the one that we missed, so here we go. Let's just go with this one next. <coughs> <clears throat> uh, all right, so this one's called Eric Griffin Just Twisting the Knife, posted by Wear a Damn Helmet. Uh-oh. Matt Reif might have posted this one. Let's see. Uh, All right, kids. Keep on trucking. Tour kicks off. Uh, Nashville, uh, Tennessee, January 25th, Thursday night. Two shows at Zany's. I'm in Austin, Texas, January 26th and 27th at the Step Mothership, the Vulcan Gas Company. I'm in Sacramento. Uh, two shows, Brea, Phoenix, El Paso, Albuquerque, Kelowna, Vancouver, uh, Rochester, Kitchener. Uh, you, know. you know, I don't got my dates up yet. I do have some dates. I'm actually going to be at the real mothership <laughs> in April. Boom. But like uh, some other. <laughs> <laughs> and then even worse is uh, shop's going to be there in January. <laughs> January. <laughs> I wonder what is. So Vol- how close is Vulcan to the mothership? Is, there, is it really close? Do we I think it's on 6th Street. I don't oh, know. They're on the same street? Yeah. Damn, dude. Yep. He's got to walk in front of it and just like look, you know? What's, what is the equivalent to that when you were like fired from one or you got moved from one Chipotle to the other? Yeah. But the good one, you, so you would like look, drive by the good Chipotle, go mm-hmm. to the one that was bad? Uh, that or like if you were used to like mow lawns mm. and like you see, you see like one small lawn and they're like, yeah, we'll let you try it out. $100 a week. What the fuck is a small lawn? $100. Nice. And then the next door neighbor's like, can you give us like a cheaper rate, but it's a terrible lawn. You're like, well, I'm making enough at this $100 one. I could do this one for 75 mm-hmm. And then the 100 one drops you. And then shop calls the guy gay. Yeah. And yeah. then the owner of the $100 house is like, he's not even a lawnmower. I'm like, fuck, dude. Because <laughs> Joe Rogan says he's not a headliner. <laughs> 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 anyway, that was a long-winded response. But yeah, dude, uh, big dick. Sorry about that. This <laughs> one's posted by Haphazard. It's called... Quote, the guy, end quote, said he's the first person ever to walk out of Hamlet. Uh, spoiler alert, they're not talking about Hamlet, B. Let's see uh-huh. here. Black Panther reminded me of, uh, of uh, what's that? Hamilton. That's another one. Oh, that's Have another. you ever seen Hamilton? No, no, no. no. Nah. Black Panther and Hamilton, same thing. I remember I watched Hamilton on the Disney. I started watching it. I was it's like, on Disney? I was like, oh, they're rapping. Well, that, it, to me, honestly, people are like, oh, Hamilton is so great. They rap. To me, that's there's nothing that sounds worse than that. It's <laughs> Hamilton. No, did, sorry, did you, I'm the, did you go to the play? No, I oh. left, and the guy goes, "I was in New York oh, when it, the oh. height of the play. Yeah. Yeah. I'm out there performing. I I need something to do because I had an off night, dude. Halfway through, I'm leaving. The guy goes, "Where are you going? Ah, I've seen enough. Then just keep rapping in the second part too. He goes, "Yeah, dude, it's Hamlet. I'm, like, ah, I'm good, man. Hamlet. He yeah. goes, "You're the first person to ever walk out of Hamlet. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Hamlet. I thought like you would never Hamlet. go to like music. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> so many things like, okay, there's a chance that he's actually talking about Hamlet <laughs> and thinks that they're rapping because they speak in that old English type way. <laughs> that's a chance. There's a chance that that's what, like, he actually thinks it was Hamlet and he heard Hamlet. <laughs> to be or not to be. <laughs> he's like, to be, to be or like, not to be. <laughs> to be or <on> Netflix. <laughs> to be or <on> Netflix. <laughs> Oh, my God. But probably he just is saying it wrong. He's like, right? why does he Hamilton like, want to kill his dad? <laughs> Dude, shut up, Delia. <laughs> shut up, Griffin. Yes. Freeze frame. Keep going. Full review of what you saw of Hamilton. Now, I prob- I think, I mean, I think I probably agree with all sentiments. I watched some of it on Disney Plus. Uh, wasn't a fan. I, I, I mean, I'm, I haven't seen any of it. Yeah, my my parents, MSNBC liberals, love it. And yeah. they were like, you got, they played in the house when I'm there. And it's like, please. They started wearing their hats sideways and stuff, <laughs> right? <laughs> but uh, no, no, it's bad. But I would love to hear Shab's like interpretation. Because right off the bat, he already thinks it's called Hamlet. Can I give you a little, play. can I give you a little preview? 
Yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, I was watching Hamlet. I left. I was like, I got to get me to a nunnery, dude. <laughs> wait, wait, why? <laughs> why? It's a famous line in Hamlet. Oh, I'm you're Paul's deep, deep in Shakespeare, deep, dude. dude. You, got the, you got the best <laughs> brains. I'm not I'm not really a Shakespeare guy. Never really been. And then the usher was like, to leave or not to leave? I was mm-hmm. like, uh, got to go, B. <laughs> what are we doing here, dude? I imagine Shab like eating too loud or like checking his phone or something or falling asleep. Just doing all the funny things someone would do. At a pl- I'm surprised he went to a Broadway musical. Yeah. That's that's cool. I'm glad he's trying to broaden his horizons a little bit. Well, you know, it's, with Shab, you never know what to expect. He might have just saw Jersey Boys and was like, Hamlet sucks. <laughs> a renaissance man, but uh, not when it comes to musicals. Yeah. All right. I was excited for this one, dude. I love keeping up to date with the uh, fake comments, dude. Please oh, yeah, leave nice, us nice. more, dude. Yeah, those are funny. <clears throat> um, all right. <clears throat> We're going to go big screen on this one because it's kind of small. It says, uh, still going with the big booty bitches bots, uh, posted by Low5404. Is <laughs> Your videos are like fairy worlds that are so easy to immerse oneself in. Thank you for this <laughs> magical journey. <laughs> Clever humor that leaves an indelible mark, ensuring a return for more strawberry. <laughs> Picture of uh, <laughs> vagina. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Every single one has vagina pics or ass or pics. Ass pics. <clears throat> Don't care, dude. That's a real comment. <laughs> Bravo. If you haven't watched it yet, you've missed something grand. Who else is in awe with me? <laughs> Six. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Would you want to give up with the kissy face emoji? <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on these fake comments, dude? Um, the six is probably the funniest thing, I think. Just a random <laughs> six. Like, I can't tell whether these are Reddit people just being very funny or actual bots. And I wonder why or how. Like, is Bobby Lee behind this? Yeah. Is this a tiger belly thing? Ever oh, heard of it? Shout out tiger belly, shatter dude. About, shatter, shatter Shatterbox. About, shatter about. <laughs> shout out to our C, our, our um, secret CEO. Yes. Yeah. The head of the secret service. General. General uh, B. <laughs> all right. Let's go on to some more Bapa, dude. I you know I can't live without it. It's uh, posted by PP Stains in the front. Mm. Sounds like Bapa destroyed one of his vehicles already. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Had an eventful weekend, uh, which I can't talk about right now, but I will. <laughs> well, <laughs> I couldn't understand that for a second. He's like, I thought he was saying, but I will, like you know, I'm well, but without the I'm. Oh, you know, but, but I will. I'm, you know, let's I was see. him, but let's see. Had an eventful weekend, uh, which I can't talk about right now, but I will. <laughs> so wait, he can't talk about it, but he will. Mm. Let's see. That's all I say. <laughs> Oh, he can't talk about it now, but he will in the future. Oh, okay. So we got <laughs> plans for the future. Okay, good. Yeah, the, a good somebody with a black belt in podcasting is always like keeping you wanting more, ending yeah. with like that. Um, what's the word when you want to see the next thing? Eight inches. Exactly. Yeah. No. So he <laughs> doesn't. Yeah. yeah. As I was, so, was going to say, he doesn't start with exposition. He starts with a cliffhanger, baby. Right. That's what, a bad show has too much uh, too much exposition. Yeah. Shab gives no context for no. anything. Mm-mm. Smart. Yeah, very, very good. He probably learned that from Hamlet. Let's see here. <laughs> You'll see. It'll, it'll be out there. Um, oh, 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 O'Reilly <laughs> Auto Parts. And I'm going to be using them because I might have messed up one of my vehicles. <laughs> we'll have some news for you on that very soon. It's a disaster. How long has it been since you totaled your truck? How long has it been since you changed your spark plugs? Yeah. So he can't talk about totaling his truck. Be cool. Yet. <laughs> be cool. <laughs> okay. What are your thoughts? It would be funny if I, w- during this show, I was like, all right, guys. Ba-na, 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 ba-na. I mean, I can't talk about it now, but in next week, I will be talking about what happened to my Toyota Camry. <laughs> okay, we got some news coming out about that hybrid. Okay. <laughs> Let's just say there's one less raccoon on the roads. <laughs> Why would anyone care what happened to my Camry? Yeah. What are we doing here? Well, we're also not this level. Yeah, we're not. This is a different level. I mean, he's a big famous person, so maybe you care more about his car, especially since he's a big guy. How's he fitting in? Yeah. Yeah. When audio is king and you're pulling in at least 30K, dude, Mm -hmm. right? The downloads, let's just say they're nag flicks for him. Um, And for us, they're... (laughs) Blockbuster. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> we're pulling in the hundreds of th- hundreds, dude. Yeah, dude, hundreds of uh, the thousands. <laughs> All right, this one's posted by Rick Manchester. It's called Crystal Chris Diddler talking about Shab. What I want to know is what came first, 
that fucking uh, him saying that he walked out of Hamlet or the, uh, the Sawfire Underbelly interview. Oh, yeah, you're telling me he was on that, yeah. this, this week. Yeah. I haven't seen it. As soon as he said he walked out of Hamlet, he's like, I'm going to hit that guy back up, dude. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. And then this is what we get. But there are those people that are like, you know, hey, time to do stand-up. It's funny to think of like that. Like stand-up is like, it's, it's, it's just... Look, I get that there's like brain surgery and I understand that there's people trying to figure out time travel. <laughs> yes. But like stand up is just in that world, that's one of the hardest things to do. Mm-hmm. That somebody that's just like sees another comic doing doing well on stage that is just like some guy successful in another field that's like I could I I could do that shit. Mm-hmm. It's just so funny. Hilarious. It's so not the case. Genius. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> he brings up so many good points, dude. I mean, yeah. he said it better than I could say it. Mm-hmm. It's like Mr. Whole Foods is there in the crowd. He's a fucking uh, astronaut. Yeah. And, you know, he's been in the moon and all that. And he's looking at, I mean, the moon, right? <clears throat> you know, we I've seen it, yeah. you know. <laughs> and he's looking at like a Crystalia, who's one of the best, mm. a murderer. Yeah, and he's thinking, me, I'm a, I'm an astronaut. I know like how to. I know all this stuff. I'm like a, probably, you know, there's only like twenty of me, right? Yeah, but there's a thousand headliners who can do it, and you're a duck, Buzz Aldrin, <laughs> <laughs> Buzz Blockbuster, <laughs> more like Blockbuster Aldrin. <laughs> I've forgotten all other astronauts' names. What's Neil other, Armstrong. Neil Armstrong. What's a way to make him? Duck Armstrong. Duck Armstrong. <laughs> Strong duck. <laughs> uh, all right. This one's posted by Haphazard, North Star. It's called That's Bapa in a Nutshell right here. Brian's like, my bad. It's next week. My God, that's, that's Brian in a nutshell. Mm. You're a wild boy. This is Brian in a nutshell. No. <laughs> oh, I'm in a nutshell. All right, let's. <laughs> they just skip over his bit. Uh, here, here comes the real bit. Let's see what we got here, huh? Uh, Parrot. Right. I did. I, I did that with Postmates the other day, and I was like, "What? Yeah, it was, I did that too." Yeah, I'm like, "What did I order?" <laughs> yeah. Parrot. Like, imagine being the people like setting up the video shit, yeah. and they and the guy comes in with a box of like cocaine, yeah. Crack, yeah, six yeah, guns, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> bullets, a crack, used crack pipe. How do they do this? He's like, this jewelry box, crack cocaine. First of all, <laughs> first of all, I don't think a person that has all that. It's funny. I know he's parroting, but to me, I'm waiting for him to do it. Yeah. So it's like, I don't really care about what they're saying. I yeah. just want Shab to, my favorite part of the pot is when he does it. Mm-hmm. Would the room would be that organized? I'm saying, yeah, what kid's yeah, room yeah, yeah. is like that? That's, that's <laughs> like a library. Dude, imagine thing. having. Co- <laughs> In his mind, Non-stop. those two things are on the same page. Like you opening up a Starbucks in <laughs> in, in in Midtown, yeah, 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 and the same. and a plane yeah, crashing into 4, the Trade Center. People. He said, and, "You know, like a, a global event." Yeah, he's like, or you opening up a new business. <laughs> he's like, "That's the thing about New York. Or one one day up, a, yeah. a plane's flying into the buildings. The next, you open up a Starbucks. Yeah. That's why." Crash, parrot. <laughs> what makes Look, New York great? On one hand. <laughs> Oh, Is Louis Vuitton's good. good. Oh. Oh. Damn, dude. I wanted you to have a Jams wallet. Remember those? Yeah, yeah. With the <laughs> bro. Yo, pull that up. That'll take me back. Jams I wallet. Fuck. Uh, wow, I pulled that from... Is it Jams I, I, or Jans? No, Jams. Pan jams. or Pan? No, I'm not saying either of those. <laughs> pan or Pan? Jams wallet. <laughs> jams. <laughs> Dude, wow, that brought me back. The, the one right there, the third one up oh, on the top. I had that Toon that, Squad that one. That one right there. <laughs> so, you gotta, so anytime, if, listen, don't if you if, if don't answer anything. Whoa, it's crazy. It's a, it's Damn. the whole new scam. They would have got me. Yeah, they would have got me. Yeah, <laughs> they would have and, 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 and used that for the confirmation. Yeah, Did you, you signed up for this pr- subscription. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's obviously not what I was saying. Yeah, to. Hmm. What do you think? It's so easy to pair it on podcast, though. I almost just did it now. I almost did it now, too. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. It, it is difficult because you're talking and then you want, and Chad probably wants to say something, but 
he has nothing to say, so he's just like, yeah. He's mm-hmm. kind of just doing the earthquake bit. <laughs> I hope they never have any like super duper controversial guests on because Shab could could douche himself, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know what you, mean. you You know, like that somebody fucked up with some fucked up opinions and Shab's like, Oh yeah, dude, the most juice. Yeah. And you're just like, What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this one's great start to 2024, posted by Haphazard. Hap gave us a little bit of feedback, or not feedback, what is it called? Uh, insight into his process on the Discord the other day. He says, uh, I just watched the first five minutes and I get a clip all, all automatically. Mm. Remember that? Oh, yeah, Hap, yeah. With the, oh, the, the wiener said thing. <laughs> <laughs> just the first five minutes. That was the first five minutes? Yeah, of oh, the shop yeah, show. I remember that. Let's see here. This is really the fight in the kid. Mm. Come on, baby. Got a lot to talk about. A lot to Happy all. Monday. Thanks, bro. How are you? How are you doing? You seem a little concussed. It's just a question. You can't talk about it right now, but okay, we will. you can't talk about it right we now. Will. Yeah, yeah, we will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you're talking about it though. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that face, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing his like son's sweater. <laughs> it's like a Care Bear sweater. <laughs> Some got yourself, stuff. got yourself in a little accident. Got myself in a pickle. Well, this guy, yourself in a little pickle. <laughs> a pickle. Maybe took a little. Uh, how's the arm? How's the knee? And how's the head? The arm and knee, I can deal with. The heads. Heads. A little, I didn't need another concussion in my life. No, and you think you got a concussion? You looked t- like you saw it. the video. Looked like it. Damn. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll get into that. That's my, just my, a produ- teaser. my producer Mark and Casey go, dude. I'm glad you're okay. Mark, because they were shooting it. They go. Are you okay? You'll get, they go, listen, as your friend, I hate this. But as your producer, <laughs> we love this. We love it. God. Yeah, dude. Well, it's going to be interesting to see what the, uh, how this unfolds, as it were. Uh, so That's besides that stuff. insanity, which we'll yeah. get into when you're allowed to talk about it, yeah. what well, else do you do this weekend? It's like they're both suffering from the injury, you know? <laughs> yeah. They're talking all weird. Mm-hmm. We'll wait until get into it, as it were. Like, what's going on? <laughs> I want the best doctors on this though. I need I need uh, tra- the guy in the Will Smith movie. You know, Will Smith was like the trauma CT doctor. Yeah. I need him helping out because we can't lose Shab. Yeah, for any number of days. We know we need all the 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 doctors at Mount Sinai mm-hmm. to be on this dude. The best brains yeah. need to be helping out our guy. I wor- I'm a little worried about him. He seems fine because like this is kind of standard Shab. I don't see any. How would you even tell if his head hurt, right? Mm. He'd have to be asleep or something. It would be a little softer than usual. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Like to the touch? It's just oh, like, oh, yeah, that's right. Well, they do kind of touch each other, but it's usually shop touching people. So how would you tell? I don't know. I mean, you just watch the first five minutes and be like, is he speaking correctly? Well, that's what I'm saying. He never speaks correctly. Yeah. So, so it's hard. <laughs> the doctors would be like doing tests and they'd be like, Oh my God, this is so troubling. And then Brian had to be like, actually, it's, it's, he was doing that before. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and they're like, oh, thank God. Oh, so thank this God. is normal. Wait, so he was always saying sugar on wiener? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said something about my dick being delicious. <laughs> yeah, that's normal. XJ hotline. <laughs> XJ. They have to call XJ. <laughs> the doctors have, hello, hello, it's XJ hotline. Hi, this is uh, Dr. Ross from Mount Science Sign. Um, we have a patient here. He says that uh, he is he's modding his truck. He's in the process of modding his truck. He's got blowers and superchargers and his Raptor. And it just, you know, I'm not much of a truck guy, but it doesn't sound like it's actually, he knows anything about trucks. Oh, yeah. No, he doesn't know anything about it. Yeah, no, he just, but it's totally normal. It has nothing to do with the head injury. Why does he keep bringing up SeaWorld? Oh, he's big into fish. He's balls deep into fish. <laughs> so that's why. All right, have a good one. <laughs> uh, yep later <laughs> let's see oh um god dealing a lot with that figuring mm-hmm. it out that's 2024 has been tough between that the and baby fish. girl between that fish and baby girl not a lot of time to think about well, comedy 2024 is kicking me in the nuts um <laughs> yeah 2024 we're like let's go 2022 uh, oh. let's go 2024 what god said if you thought 2023 was tough just try this on, on. Bubba. yeah um yeah that 2023 was tough. Get in. Uh, <laughs> strap the fuck in, Papa. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one, dude. This one's got a flair of Thief or Sutherland. Uh, it says, Papa saves his best yes and ability for the Patreon shows. 
Let's see what this is all about. B. She doesn't like me. So I was like, I don't. Should I come out and just say it back? Well, you know what? I don't like her either. Don't you? Yeah. But, well, yeah, but you know, I mean, you are the one calling into a podcast talking shit about her. So, yeah, I mean, but, I but get this it. is after yeah, but, you know she doesn't like that. Touche. Yeah, but also she said she doesn't like him. Why? Why do? You, why do you think you guys clash? It's like, probably because of this. She's trying to. Swastika. Yeah, I think she's trying to compete. <laughs> He's like, she's black. Yeah, you're stealing her friend. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, like, it's it. real yeah, simple, man. She's black. <laughs> No, but here's the thing, man. Yeah. You know what? We're in Michigan, yeah. <laughs> if he's your friend, he's your friend. And it's like sometimes... Who is your favorite player right now? Mr. Romero from Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Shab on the Patreon is totally different, man. Yeah. Because, like, the stuff you get... If you're just one of these ducks that only watches the free show... Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Mm -hmm. And not like me and uh, Gerardo who are... Super duper Patreon top tier TFK subscribers. Uh, subscribers, then you don't get the stuff where Shop really tells it how it is, dude. Mm -hmm. You know, you're if you saw some of it, even even sometimes I'm like, oh really, dude? You know? Yeah, I've but, seen it. Yeah, yeah, you've seen me. Yeah. You've seen me rack. But listen, like that's the heat that you get for Big Brown. He bet on himself, mm -hmm. and um, I'm, you know, cat. He cashed in. Mm -hmm. He won the bet. Mm. He's ready to tell it how it is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Damn it. All right, let's go to the next one, dude. Um, this one's called Talks for a Living. It's posted by Eddie Pool 8 Millimeter. Let's see what this is all about, B. Controlling the pace and changing the narrative of a fight than Sean Strickland. So that's why I ear towards Sean Strickland in this ear. fight. <laughs> because besides Alex Piera, he just, out of all DDP strengths, and there's a lot of them. <laughs> well, Host annual host, host annual an annual annual, annual. meeting of t t t he t he the t oh the yeah, yeah. inner you know obviously with the <laughs> where was the one fight I'm thinking of obviously with the Robert Whitaker the, the, there what was a g g g girl quite some time to call usually. These things, I mean, there's in the first, second round, if Strickland can impo impose his will, and he's very, very technical, we saw it in the Whitaker fight. So for DDP, it's going to be controlling. Today, Junior! <laughs> Job sounds like he's like one of those kids on Kids Say the Darndest Things for Bill Cosby. <laughs> Piera? Is that what he called Alex yeah, Pereira? Yeah. Piera. <laughs> obviously, obviously. We've been saying it the wrong way. Uh, uh, which one? Piera. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. We sh we've been calling it, we've been saying Pereira. Yeah, like that's a couple not, of does. Yeah. yeah, that's not what it is, no, dude. It's Piera, dude. Uh, this one's posted by Scream Scampy. Where are you going this summer? Oh, we think we're going to spend some time in the Piera. <laughs> yeah. Just check it out. Check it out. See how it is. I don't want to go to Pierce because I heard there's a lot of bed bugs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. Falls deep in them. <laughs> this one's posted by uh, Scrimp Scampy. It's called Brendan with the most outrageous lie ever. I mean, we got in a little bit of gadooshing ourselves when we saw a lie. Remember the mustache one? People were oh, like, yeah. you guys are stupid. It's just a joke. Mm. Shut up, Doug. Shut up. You got to be a comedian to make jokes. Oh, I missed your camera up. Here we go. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. You know, I can't get enough of Gypsy Rose, and I think we can book her on the podcast. Dude, I don't know any. I don't know much about that oh, situation. I, I I know what happened, but I don't. I don't. She's I, doing I podcasts now. I haven't looked into it. We've been trying to get a hold of her for Theos, like, through every channel. I don't understand. She's doing. She is doing, like some nothing podcast her people dm me really what's up Theo? <laughs> uh, <laughs> why yeah. that'd be f she's just a big fan of uh brendan schaub's pod <laughs> dude that would be amazing if they interviewed her and she's like you know it, obviously i went through a really tough time a dark time and i was in prison and the one thing that helped me out was like every once in a while someone smuggled a prison phone in and i was able to listen to the schaub show <laughs> Yeah. And ba -na -ba -na, if she did the ban ba -na -ba -na -ba -na -ba -na. name the movie uh good morning vietnam that was that's what i listened to on my darkest day then i started watching 10 minutes of shab yeah <laughs> <laughs> these are just my fantasies <laughs> what if yeah. she's like listen i'm not trying to put some sugar on your wiener tell you it's delicious mm. all right shab but i listen to you every day <laughs> <laughs> she what if she said that and he stole that from her <laughs> yeah more than likely dude uh all right we ready for this next one dude oh yeah 
This one's called Brendan Schauber. It's posted by It's Loon Meme. Let's see what this is about, dude. You've got to bomb 10,000 times before you get good. There's a chance that when we push that button, <laughs> we destroy the world. I'm doing less tour dates. Near zero. I'm going to start doing less tour dates. Zero would be nice. I really struggle with it. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. So, Mr. Shab, you are the man who Mr. gave them the power to destroy themselves. <laughs> We're not giving the guy kudos because he's the smartest tool in the shed. And the world is not prepared. <laughs> in, in order to shoot for the moon, you gotta land on the stars, or you, you want to land on the moon. But sometimes, you know, you make fucking mistakes as part of the game. But you know, I just think you're. Sh yeah. Expert. Expert. Know what's next. What's you know what I'm not really even about? I'm not really came up with the, the bomb that dropped fucking so, on Japan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he is, it is, I'll never get over him being like uniquely once in a lifetime generationally bad yeah. at what he does in comedy. <laughs> like he's just the worst of all time because he's just, a, he's a random guy, you know, and there have been other people that are probably random people that have done stand-up specials, but. Just the worst ever. <laughs> and it's amazing. And you you can, anything that's like the atomic bomb, you can make content about Papa forever. Mm -hmm. You know? But you, you coined the phrase Rogenheim, right? Maybe. I don't know. You said like Joe Rogan made the worst comic. Yeah, yeah, Rogenheimer. But I mean, I, and a lot of people have said that. I don't know if I said Ro maybe I maybe I said Roganheimer first. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying you said it first. Yeah. I said I did say coin the term, mm -hmm. which I don't know these words, these words, right? Right. I don't think people know the meaning of these, these words. words. Boom. <laughs> All right. So this one's posted by Pharrell Eighties. It's called Shadow Bandit. Let's see. It is what it is. Um, th uh, is it true that they banned our boy Joe Rogan? Sh Shadow Bandit. Shadow banned him. Oh, I don't know. I don't oh, know. I saw something on his on Instagram. what? Look at his Instagram. But he's so famous. Does it matter if you're real? Something's up with it, no. though. I mean, your post won't get as many views. <laughs> so, uh, well, this well, kind of this is kind of fucked. I'm hoping this is just a glitch. People are saying they can't follow me. Is anyone else having this issue? Oh, that well, that's beyond shadow ban. <laughs> Man, they shut my shit down yesterday. Getting spooky it's out like there. It's, I, it's like beyond me. <laughs> oh, that's a vegetarian shadow band. <laughs> you shot at me right after I did your show heading to COVID. No rhyme or reason, my friend. Welcome to the club, fellas. And I even spoke to Instagram. But they won't admit to shadow banning. Schultz. With YouTube, it's also like, put a disclaimer on mine. Right. Like, I'm not in the kids section. But you, if you want, put a disclaimer on, like, you know, you know. Uh, but that's basically language. what they're doing. Because, like, but then they, like, they only show it to a small audience. And they don't, like, give you the as much. They put much, a much smaller percentage of their potential ad. A lot of this is, like, videos, marketing like when they genius numbers you. talk, you know. Yeah. It's sort of boring. It's going back to the, like, oh, yeah. So we looked at the numbers and we're doing pretty good. But YouTube, you know, we talk too much. Mm. We talk for a living. And they don't like that. And it's like, all right, guys. Like, uh, yeah, you know. it's yeah. We can't say what I want to say because YouTube is a big boss, man. Can't you <laughs> say? If I talk about this truck accident again, we're gonna, you know. I like how I they're know, like at the same time they're like, dude, this is all independent. I own the studio, this and that, and then on the show they're like, oh, can't say bad words. <laughs> Who's gonna tell you not to? Legs? Yeah. <laughs> and now we haven't heard about legs in a while. Did mm. he get fired? Did legs get good douched? Look into it. Follow the money. Legenheimer's, dude. <laughs> Let's see here. The shadow, like, have you had some of your stuff shadow banned where you know yeah. it should get like crazy views yeah. and you're like, what's going on here? Oh, yeah. Like, I did this Rogan <laughs> rant and I'm like, let's get on. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's going to get crazy. You, what, what's, what, what are we doing here? There could be like a TV show where it's called What Are We Doing Here or Never Know What's Going On Here. Yeah. And it's like an investigation where Bapa looks into different fucking. Things going on in the world like Israel, Palestine. What's going on here? Yeah, and it, but it says H A I R. Yeah. I'd I'd watch it. America kinda, versus the Houthis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how would he say those? That'd be great. Yeah, it's like Anthony Bourdain, like uh, no reservations, but it's just here. He's going to different places, investigating, like not unlike what he did with Dallas. Yeah, what happened here? Ba -na -ba -na -ba -na -ba -na -ba -na. What's <laughs> going on here? We got Hooties getting attacked by American vessels off the coast of the Red Sea. <laughs> what if else? If you could say all of that, yeah. I'd be impressed. <laughs> yeah. Let's see here. 
blow up and then um, i'm looking i'm like oh what's going on here and then one of my boys like yeah my my rogan thing got taken down I'm like what do you think Ooh. Mm, yeah it's not well so i was scary. gonna say think of zuckerberg yeah this motherfucker yeah. knows everything he knows everything about us how to target anybody he wants how to put ideas there that's why the government's got to step in every once in a while and be like yo 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 dead that here's shit. the thing on zuckerberg yeah. mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. rich right mm. ugly girl yeah Son, I think I think the he shadow banned like, me for. Hey, dog, yo, yo, you know what I'm saying that shit, man, bro. Like, pff, out out here, dude. Like, they was like, nah, 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 cut that period, T, mm -hmm. bro. Yeah, mm, bro, bro. I did this Somalian bit in my special, mm -hmm. and it didn't get no view, bro. I know that's right. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> he quoting uh, okay. Cardi B. The, the Oathman and uh, Shorts podcast, they keep playing this clip where it's a woman go, I know that's right, but it reminds <laughs> oh, me of okay. Schultz. It sounds like Schultz, because you know Schultz code switches. Yeah. At times he's an old black man, other times he's a young black woman. Mm -hmm. Even other times he's like a you know, a Gen Z black guy, you know, but it's always a black guy. It's never whatever he is. Bro, I did this video with my dad with me and my Madison Square guy. So inspirational, bro. So and, inspirational, bro. And guess what? Mark Zuckerberg said not. Nah, uh uh, <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg was like, "You can't swim, you black." <laughs> exactly. I, I mean that that's a good video to bring up because Schultz is his character was like, "Hey, bro, like you know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, man, I got this successful podcast, bro. I grinded it, mm -hmm. right? I grind. I put out videos every day, period, seven, seven, seven times a week. Mm. I did that shit, bro. Like I was I was struggling, man. I, you know what I'm saying? I was poor and now I'm rich. And now what had happened was grind said, grind said, mindset." Wake up every see you got you only got 24 hours in a day. 435 a.m., baby. You got 24 hours, right? Mm. Me, dog, I got 28.6, right? And you know why? Because Alpha Brain, Helix Mattress, and all that other shit that I put in that motherfucker. I mean, the happy hippo is in my veins. It's my dog Gerardo knows exactly where he because he gave me the he gave me the drugs. <laughs> yeah. When I come in, Gerardo already know that he's gonna hand them to me and no one gonna see it. Addies, baddies. I say I take all this shit, but really it's it's cocaine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but what? Right, so I'm saying, I'm saying, I bought all the most ridiculous t-shirts that anyone's ever known. Mm. I got them in my closet. I seen today. Four hundred dollars a shirt. Okay. And then you see the video of him showing his dad uh Madison Square Garden, and he's the whitest person you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> he look he literally looks like He's from England or something. He's dressed like Sherlock Holmes. We made it, Father. We, <laughs> no, no, <we're> here. <laughs> no. Schultz keeps the same voice. His dad's more like this. Oh wow, cheerio! Yeah. What my son is so brilliant. Oh look at this, Madison Square Garden. <laughs> Great job, Andrew. We're wonderful, wonderful job, Andrew. So I'm, I'm a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna get emotional. I, I thank you, Dad. I just my dad, y'all. Know what I'm saying? This, <laughs> this motherfucker raised me. Yeah. I came out of this motherfucking nuts at. And you know what? You know what, bro? You need to keep it a buck right now, Dad. Are you gay? <laughs> yes, it's that. BD, dog. Gay. Bless. Blessed. But I know that's right. <laughs> I know that's right. And then it's cut to him on TFAK. My dad video ain't got no views, bro. Bro, my dad. See, I came from a family. I, I don't really talk about it as much. My family had no views. <laughs> my family wouldn't do no TikTok. My family wouldn't do no Snapchat. We go to the dinner table, ain't nobody even have a YouTube account, bro. But I saw other people doing shit. You got to be everywhere, dog. You got to be a little bit on Snapchat, right? You got to be a little bit on TikTok, right? And every video that you do, bro, code switch, bro. And every video code switch, but it's not just that. People think it's just code switching, bro. It's not. It is not code switching, bro. It's also saying racist things about every race, bro. Every time. Everybody can get it. See, you come into a video, bro, and I'm not dissing you, dog. I'm not dissing you, dog, because you you know you doing your shit, bro. Like for real, bro. But you come into every video. If you just say in the video, Latinas have a lot of babies, bro. That ain't enough. Dig deeper, okay? Latinas have a lot of babies, bro. Mm. But and check this out, because it's important. <laughs> they also eat hot Cheetos, bro. What you think about that? Yeah. Slap that shit, motherfucker. Because motherfuckers think they can just come out here and talk about Takis because that's what people eat now. Yeah. But no, bruh. Because not enough bitches know that Takis is mm. what people are eating now. Because yeah. you go back to the hot Cheeto, bruh. And they like getting sperm on their back. They wet back. <laughs> <laughs> bruh, check this out, though. Because I'm not finished, bruh. 
Check this out, bro. Okay. <laughs> Motherfuckers don't know. No, they don't. Sorry. All right. Yeah, so on my special, it. I talk about how blackface is sometimes funny, right? <laughs> <laughs> Enough. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. No, it's not funny. <laughs> what if Zuckerberg is actually like the good guy here? He's like, he's shadow banning people that do black sand. <laughs> no, no, no. Zuckerberg is the bad guy because he's allowed this to fucking go into the screen. Zuckerberg is bad because he hasn't shadow banned enough. Okay? Zuckerberg is a duck. Zuckerberg did nothing to prevent this. And he should have, and he should be brought to trial for it. <laughs> Him drinking water in the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's what that if I was on con if I was on Congress and in Congress and they we did the testimony in Zuckerberg's, I'd I would be like, Mr. Zuckerberg, how would you like it if I showed your daughter this? And then I would just play Andrew Schultz's <laughs> clip. And be like, because you showed that to my son. <laughs> my son is now redacted, thanks to you. The next congressman, he's like, Andrew Schultz. That's all he says. <laughs> I love that. That's so funny. <laughs> when people drink and they do, they shake. That that is, that's like the height of comedy to me. It's like, <laughs> well, um, I thought that some his four four one special was pretty funny. Everyone that said that the Gringo Poppy was like okay and not bad, I want to have them on congressional testimony. I'm like so, and then they go. Before they, actually, I think it's pretty good. <laughs> or bring Brendan Schaub in and discuss the fake comments. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you'd probably be able to Jedi mind trick them out of it. So we read this one comment where it says, "Like great job, a great job on this guy's really brought me to a wonderful place." Uh, duck emoji, hawk emoji, the letter, the letter H, six nine seven, siren emoji. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Do you think? <laughs> You listen to whatever answer. I want to bring your attention to the profile pictures of all asses. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, you ready to finish this? Yeah. That was a long little intersection. Saying that, bro. Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> right when we started. Facebook. Yeah. Well, no, Instagram. Oh, they own Instagram. Instagram. They own mm -hmm. They're like, well, what do you want? I'm like, man, I want the same kind of marketing that gets Patty Pimblet 2 million Instagram followers every week he gets it deleted. He like gets his Instagram deleted for saying something, and then that next week he has two million followers. The next yeah. week he has three million followers, and he gets it deleted again. I'm like, that's the kind of marketing I want. Yeah, I'm like, you guys gotta bump my shadow ban up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Muppet, <laughs> you little Muppet. Oh, what were we talking? About? Oh, we were talking about an Irish kitchen earlier. Oh god, <laughs> just a bunch of Irish dudes in a kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the Patreon if you want to hear us discuss. <laughs> Irish dudes in kitchens. <laughs> you do nothing, you little moped. All right. Uh, this one's posted by Bapa Loves Me. It's called Beast of a Dad and Sport Mentor, laying the foundation for a future excuse of no comedy on weekends. We are seeing the end of the world tour before our eyes. Fuck. Do you want to guess anything or you want to just play it? Um, wait. No, I don't want to guess. No. Okay. Let's see. It's sad that insanity, which we'll yeah. get into when you are allowed to talk about it. Yeah. What else do you do this weekend? Um, I just want to say real quick. Sorry, I'll we'll keep going right now. Mm -hmm. Dog, marketing genius. The three C's right there, dude. Right. What mm -hmm. the fuck? I mean, he's the goat. Those socks are goaded. Those I want to buy, dude. If we had thick socks, Brendan Walsh, please. Yeah, Walsh. If you're, oh, and by the way, shut I up. keep forgetting. Shut, yeah. Walsh World Record Pod got us a bunch of stickers. Yeah, right here. Put them up. We got some here, here, and then yeah. the new Tiger Belly thing. And you know, Brendan Walsh is our benefactor, and he gives us stuff. But um, if you want us to have more cool stuff, subscribe to the Patreon. <laughs> yeah, dude. But those, I mean, listen, the shoes are atrocious, but. <laughs> <laughs> Those that's triple C right there, dude. Yeah, Mark the bowling show the bowling shoes take away from it somewhat. Yeah, but at least they match the middle rain bottle. If you would have had some orange A six, <laughs> right? Some Vans. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Allowed to talk about it. Yeah. What else do you do this weekend? Um, God, dealing a lot with that. Figuring mm -hmm. it out. That's 2024 has been tough. Between that with and baby fish. girl. Between that, fish and baby girl. Not a lot of time to think about oh, comedy. 2024 is oh. kicking me in the nuts. Yeah. Um, yeah, 2024, we're like, let's go 2020. Uh, oh. Let's go 2024. What? God said, if you thought 2023 was tough, just try hey, this on, Bubba. Yeah. Every time I see this, dude, we've, we've discussed this before. Mm. Isn't it a trip, dude, that we got chairs, dude? It's amazing. This it's is amazing. so funny to me. And it's a, 
my dream is to have people, other people, like other comics, sit in these chairs. And how hilarious would it be to see random comedians that you know sit in this chair with us, <laughs> and we interview them? Yes, wouldn't that be nice? Yes. So we want to do that. We'll definitely have Walsh. We had text. Oh up. yeah, dude. Yeah. Um, and then the three camera setup is the same as theirs. It's just like. You did it, dog. I've always wanted to be TFAK, dude. Yeah. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're almost there, dude. Yeah, dude. We're almost there. All we need is, we're going to get Chin. Yeah, we need to get a Chin or someone that looks like him. V Chin. V Chin. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, I coach on Tiger's football team, so he had his first game. He balled out. We won. Balled out. And then he had baseball tryouts right after that. So I did that all day. Then I went and hung out with the dads. Tiger's going to be an athlete. I think so. Yeah. You're still very reserved about that, but going to be an It's athlete. tough, you know? Yeah. It, 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 a lot has to happen. Yeah. I mean, he has the skill set, but and the talent. So we'll see. It's a long journey. Yeah, as long as he's having fun, that's all I care about. Long journey. And he's good at it, right? Because a lot of time commitment for the parents. Yeah. Some of the parents, I don't get it. The time, you know <laughs> how it is when guy. you have kids. It's like, <laughs> You're not that guy. You're not that guy. <laughs> like, especially if they're on a travel ball team. I mean, you got they have cuts with those, so those kids are really good, but... Even it's if like if your kid's not gifted at it, yeah, it's like your your weekends are done. But Bubba. you know, sometimes you your weekends Bubba. are done, right? But you're you're having fun watching your kid learn about life, right? So it's not just about the sport. But the, but then don't know? be on a competitive travel ball team. Oh yeah, like well, just do it your your local place. But where the kid may love it. Is he good? If you're the dads, the one of the other dads in that situation, you're probably like, damn, dude, I fucking I gotta watch all these kids, and now there's another kid, you know. <laughs> Shad's like slightly smarter and more <laughs> rely or like mature than the seven year olds you're watching. Yeah. You got to make sure Shad doesn't do something stupid. I wouldn't let Shad watch my kids. Not because I think he would do something bad to them, but he just would forget. <laughs> they for leave them somewhere, be like, oh, yeah, 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 do whatever you want with the machinery over there. <laughs> He's stupid. I wouldn't because I don't want to buy fish. <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah. Your kid comes home and like, I want arowanas. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, dude. He's like, Shab bit one of his fish. I'm like, you know you want to eat the fish? <laughs> you condom fish? Really? <laughs> condom fish. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't leave my kids around chin. All right, so this one's posted by Haphazard. It says, uh, R.I.P. TRX. Best brains for the art, so I love a Hap clip. Let's see. This is really the fighter and the kid. Come on, baby. <laughs> All right, on, Rachel. Man. Let's Go. do this, man. Do yeah, I gotta get back to the shop, man. What do you mean? He's, my hands smell like... You smell that? You're always in the like, shop oh, now. I know, dude. Yeah, all right. Name, this, name the scent, dude. Yeah. <laughs> name the scent. Oh, what do they think I smell like? Gasoline. Oh, okay. That's truck guy. I was going to say Cheetos. but <laughs> Cheeto fingers? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. Yeah, imagine. You're probably right. He's like, oh, wait, the shop was yesterday. I just got smell back like, from the liquor store. <laughs> smell like his balls because he's been pissing in the sink. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Kadoosh. I get it, dude. Uh, I got my own shop now, dude. Yeah, it's you it. got a little wound on your arm, too. <laughs> well, it looks yeah. like it's infected. It, it, that wound looks like it's, you know what it's doing? Does it's it is seeping. Vibrant, dramatic. It's seeping. It that is wound seeping. is what seeping and Sanaz's mouth just opened. Yeah, it's still really? open right now. I can't see it. That looks like it's yeah, seeping. No, it that doesn't look good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were joking. Really? You, you look like you're about to get gangrene. We're going to have to lop it off. Uh, uh, this is the producers. Can we get Brian to say seeping one more time? Yes. And we need it. We need it now. We need yeah, it now. <laughs> <laughs> but we <laughs> need it. I was hoping Boner Alert would catch on. I haven't heard them say Boner Alert uh, oh, anymore. Yeah. We're we're keeping it alive though. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Forever and ever. <laughs> Let's see here. <clears throat> Off right at the old, right at the old short sleeve. We're gonna give you a short I sleeve. I come on Monday. I'm like, what's up, yep. everybody? Yep. Brian yep. was right, and that's when you get it. When you lose it I up to here. Green in my arm. Uh huh. Not good. Not fun. Well, that's now, what happens when you now. Crash since you're talking the about truck. the shop, I'm probably gonna have to bother you now. I gotta get back to my shop, dude. Hey, I'm feeling. I gotta get back to my shop. You gotta get back to your shop, dude. I got some work to do. We're installing the the supercharger. The wheel you're doing brakes. more for the truck. Oh, this for the lighting, different truck. The different other truck's truck. out of commission, other, which other I'll truck. be able to talk the about truck. once insurance gets. Other truck, out. other truck might be in the hospital right now, getting just. Other truck might be six feet under in truck. And I so legs is definitely still there, dude. Oh yeah, he's telling them don't talk about truck the truck crash. <laughs> I'm glad there's a handler there, but can you imagine how easy it would be for the other side to prove that Shab was at fault? Mm -hmm. They just show them clips of all the brain damage he has, yeah. and they're like, "You're telling me." That this guy didn't do it? Really? What are we doing here? I rest my case. <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> I wonder if he was checking socials in the mm -hmm. before he got in the crash. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, there's another, that would be another thing the lawyer could use. The lawyer's like, I know my client was drunk. 
Th- this is the other lawyer. Not, yeah, not yeah, Bob, yeah. I know he's drunk. I know at the time he was wearing a blindfold. I know this, I represent Fred Loya Insurance. Not a good one. Okay, never heard of it. But watch this clip. And then it's just shot going, bana, 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 bana. And Monday morning, cocksuckers. <laughs> and the first, no, the first clip he shows is like, are you about to do Kratom right now? <laughs> yeah. It's Shab describing hair, taking heroin after someone said, yeah, it's kind of like heroin. Mm-hmm. Taking Kratom, he said heroin by accident. Oh, what are we doing we'll here? See. I heard both Probably ways. should have been six feet under. <laughs> yeah. You saw the video. I saw the video. Yeah. Mm. It's what happens though. You know, it's what happens. I feel like insurance will be like, yeah, you got, you have a claim though. I, I talked to him this morning. We're good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> His face. <laughs> He's worried. Yeah, dude. Yeah, friend. Any, uh, any thoughts on what happened with this drug accident, dude? I have no idea, Bob. Are you? Uh, I was hoping you would say eight inches so we could move on. <laughs> uh, um, all right. So this is supposed to have pee-pee stains in the front. It's called Guadalajara. Thank him. Let's see mm-hmm. here. Immigration. More, less, even. How dare your you? your girlfriend is Mexican. Born and raised. Is she? Is she illegally? What? <laughs> I know that she has, and I've seen this clip. I mean, I yeah. watched this clip, and I've watched or I've seen this interview before, so I know. It's just so funny. Why lie about that? Yeah. So she says she's from Hollywood. Yeah. And so let's skip to the end of that. It, it, real interesting. Now, do you ever threaten her with a little call to the authorities if she gets wise? Every Thursday. Yeah. You go, listen, we can daddy, really. Uh, daddy has to do can it. We really, daddy. yeah. You talk back. You what, know the, does you know she the hate deal, Trump? Bitch. Here's the thing. Okay. Uh, he, listen. <laughs> a little bit of an outfit talk again, dude. Oh, yeah. The leopard hat. <laughs> That's the only leopard thing you see on the screen. Oh, it matches the shoe. Yeah. That's oh, man. atrocious, dude. Yeah, that's a lot. Those are the, I remember when I, I wear Vans. Yeah. And when I go to the Van store uh, and I see stuff like that, I'm like, hmm, that's an interesting choice. Mm-hmm. You know, not, not going to be me. Yeah. You know, not going to wear that. Some alfalfa looking ass motherfucker. <laughs> Why, the hat with the color, green, red, cheetahs on the side, weird. I mean, then it matches is pretty funny for Shab, right? Yeah. He shows up. Shab shows up with crazy shit all the time. He's like the guy, your friend who shows up wearing crazy shit. <laughs> yeah. Kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, Embarrassing crazy guys. <laughs> Steve Martin. Can like, she Americanize it? Can she read and write and everything? Mm, kind of. Okay. English, tough. Kind oh, of. really, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of grew up watching my mom. Uh, you know, she was a singer in Mexico, a performer. Yeah. And so when we moved back to the States, I kind of had like a little bit of that itch yeah. from what my mom used to do. But growing up in Mexico was amazing. You know, mm-hmm. I, I loved everything about it. I When I got here, I was kind of depressed as a child, yeah. I think, because I was so used to having my uncles, my cousins, my like friends, a lot of going to school, all, all my family. And then I came to the U.S. and, I mean, I had my dad's side of the family, but yeah. I didn't know them. <laughs> Knee locks and big in the smallest man. What does that mean? I don't know. It's like probably Chang's lore or something. Mr. Joseph Rogan. No. Oh <laughs> Engage. 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 <laughs> so. I just wanted to say to the staff at Chang's, like, let's let's cool it on the kratom before we cook, yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> Listen, thirty capsules a day is what I do. I mean, let's not go over that. Don't go over saying. that. Yeah, yeah, magnum kratom. <laughs> and I don't want to see people in the kitchen fucking filling their own capsules again. Okay, no, no, buy them wholesale. <laughs> yes. All right. So this one is a pretty good clip from the week. Have you seen this one yet? Uh, no, I don't think so. It's called "Not a Hater in Any Facet," posted by Haphazard, dude. Right. Let's get to it. The Emmys last night? Yeah. Did she win Best Actress in a comedy yep. for an Emmy? Wow, yep. Good for her. Wow. And then she won the Golden Globe. That was a week. that was a weird show. Did you see Beef? No. Oh, you gotta watch it. No. I have no desire. <laughs> oh, it's a great show, man. It's weird. <laughs> I thought it was just for Asian. No. <laughs> the way they're <laughs> What dude. Oh my God. You know what he was thinking about saying. <laughs> Something you can't say on the Reddit <laughs> Something anymore. Something Shane got in trouble for. You cannot do on the Reddit anymore. <laughs> yeah. It's redacted for a reason. Dude, Beef was such a big show. Yeah, Everyone beef. watched it. Before I saw it, people were like, did you watch Beef? I had no idea what they were talking about. I felt like an idiot. <laughs> great show. Yeah. Never seen it. It is great. Yeah. I uh, Something tells me he's seen it. Oh, he knows. He just wants to. Yeah. 
He's a, he he watched it thinking it was going to be Jamal, and then you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "There's a lot of Jamals in this show. <laughs> a lot of Jamals in this show on Netflix." The way Netflix. they're, <laughs> the way they're <laughs> Brendan will be in Arizona. <laughs> like, yeah, someone's going through this, someone's yeah. through this, and then you you know you have and road rage. And, yeah, and, and it's it's yeah. a series. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, just, just off series, one yeah. incident? Yeah. No, but you get to watch it. No, no, no. It, it's yeah. actually good to watch it, but yeah. the ending's kind of crazy. That's He's like, seen it. I lived it. <laughs> I'm in a beef situation with the guy who hit my truck. I try to walk people to my truck, and I, that was my beef. My beef's called Annie Letterman. <laughs> Ever heard of it? <laughs> she said that she wanted to blow me, or I wanted her to blow me in the car, but I didn't. And then we had a whole thing. It ruined my life. <laughs> Reddit is mean. Now I'm shadow banded. Yeah, I'm, I'm shadow banned. <laughs> Beef could be a show about Brennan. Yeah. We're literally doing that show right now. Yeah. We'd be minor, very minor characters on the show. Yeah. B- Timos rolls out the tongue. Beef is like, you know. There could be an all Asian uh, movie or TV show of like Shab's life. Just switch it up. <laughs> Starring Bobby Lee as Shab. Yeah, Bobby Lee. Yeah. We got the cast ready, dude. Yes, sir. Asian movie. Everything. Uh, there are a few. Asian. There are a few, and about, this is though. not an all Asian. What, what was it, Dick? <laughs> Everything, everywhere, all. Absolutely not. If oh. one no, but there was Asian's another one. Movie. Crazy Rich Asians. I'm like, oh, that no, that's not too, for yeah. me. It's like that Black one. Panther. Never saw it. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> that's a fucking Marvel movie, you moron. <laughs> yeah, I love it, dude. Go deeper. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Yes. So one of the comments said that he, in a different episode, said he took his kids to go see Black Panther. So. <laughs> oh, really, dude? <laughs> Boom. Let's see. <laughs> Black Hamilton, Hamilton, did, sorry, did, you rapid- the, did you go to the play? No. I oh. left, and the guy goes, I was in New York. Oh, when it, the oh, height of the play, yeah. I'm out there performing. I, I need something to do because I had an off night. Dude, halfway through, I'm leaving. The guy goes, where are you going? Oh, I've seen enough. And they just keep rapping in the second part, too. He goes, yeah, dude, it's Hamlet. I'm, like, ah, I'm good, man. He yeah. goes, you're the first person to ever walk in a Hamlet. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Hamlet. I feel like they you would never Hamlet. go to like... I've <laughs> always wanted to see Lion King. That, uh, that's awesome. But ah. uh, you know what? <laughs> ah. It's really good. It's The thing is... There's an agenda he so behind racist? it. it, it <laughs> He's like... He, he just, no white person has ever looked like him. Ever. <laughs> he does not look like a white man. And he calls himself Big Brown. Yet somehow he's white. So I don't believe that narrative. He is not white. And yet he's like he's like the Chappelle sketch, you know, the blind black guy yeah. as a part of the KKK. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to say Black Panther because it has the word black in it. You say the word black almost every show, yeah. <laughs> and you don't like it. Yeah, what are we doing here? It's Your a rough co-host take. is black. Yeah, that's that's what I was gonna say right now, dude. Yeah, Montez, what come on, Montez, stand dude? up for yourself, Montez. Montez, dude, Black Panther was. I don't know, Entertaining. Black Panther 2 made me cry, dude. Oh, I didn't see the second one. It was good. Yeah, I'm not going to cry right now, but uh, yeah, it was really good, dude. Yeah. It ruined Well, Broadway. I was fucking younger when I saw it. What do you mean? mean? Because I saw Billy Crystal one man play solo, front row. That's really weird. Bought snacks that. and everything. Just. <laughs> dude, <there laughs> <was a deer. laughs> I wish I could have been there for that. Why is he so racist just in this clip? Just like, I don't know. Let's see. Series of them. Exit Wounds was one of them with DMX. Romeo must. Romeo, Romeo was, was, die. was die. Yeah, Oh my go. god, that's I right. have the DVD of that. I've never so seen it. I am a huge <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Romeo must die is it can I think you can miss that. <laughs> yeah, but and with yeah, there's a pattern though, After Gadushing Black Panther. <laughs> there's a narrative here. We're following it. We see it. Yeah. Okay. Jet Lee fan. Yeah, he's oh, awesome. I'm not. anything came out. <laughs> what? Jet Lee rules. <laughs> you used to watch all those dubbed old Jet Lee movies? I watched the one about the elephant. Is that Jet Lee? Where he's elephant? like, there's like, you have to save an elephant. It's like the protector, I think it's called. Maybe. I don't know. I didn't see that one. Though. Leave some comments, B. Yeah. Yeah, because I could be totally wrong. Let's see here. Is that just for Asians? I know, dude. dude. <laughs> that's Asians. Is it just for Asians again? No. Yeah. That's the name of the movie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know who mom. keeps winning this is the Golden Globe and the Emmy is Macaulay Culkin's brother from... Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a great show. What's his name? Did you watch Succession? I just call him Macaulay Culkin's brother. Succession and I don't like how he wins great. awards and doesn't acknowledge his brother. Thanks. He thanks all his entire family. He's like, Mom, thanks for being the best mom. And he's like, my brother, fuck you. Yeah, weird. <laughs> what? Yeah, the, <laughs> <laughs> this is what Brendan sees all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're gadooshing him yeah. and like at his eyesight. Yeah. Okay. He barely sees anyone. He doesn't like black because he can't see the features. You yeah. know, he's bad yeah. eyesight. He's in CT. Yeah. To him, black, a black squiggly line, you know, is scary. 
<laughs> Imagine gadushing all races and then being like, Billy Crystal, one man show was amazing. <laughs> yeah, a one man <laughs> show. <laughs> An old white man's one man show. You've seen that, but you've not seen any movie. The Lion King. People. The Lion King, the original <laughs> Lion King. <laughs> if I didn't host the thing, I wouldn't have known about the Golden Globes. I turned off when they big they did the big gay segment. Of what would you mean? Jesus this one? Christ. This one? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Your your whole show is you just doing gay things and saying you're putting you know sugar on digs and it's delicious, but yet you can't watch something you've called the gay segment of the Golden Globes of the Golden Globes. Yeah. That's a, a choice you made to watch that, sir. Yeah. <laughs> there was a big gay segment? Yeah. What do you mean for celebrating gays in Hollywood? Emmy? Yeah. What 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 it, it was like a twenty minute LGBTQ video. thing? Yeah. Like oh, what what what? Which it, what I don't was mind. It? I'm just I, what was it? Though? Sounds yeah. like you. Really don't mind it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, that's like if, isn't it funny? Like Nick Mullen and Shane Gillis, they could do like they could do jokes about different groups, mm -hmm. communities. Yeah, and it doesn't come across as very offensive. Yeah, and yeah. Then Shab enters the chat, dude. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Sh Shav is blunt force racism. <laughs> there you go. That's what I wanted to say right there. <laughs> exactly, B. For my birthday, a, a no, a terrible drawing. That's what I get. <laughs> that's your, your, yeah, that's what you, that's your birthday. California thing? Let's oh, open yeah. up a Shakey's, dude. Um, <laughs> the Golden Hour Shakey's, dude. And they have chicken. It was great. That's, see, and Freddie Roach serves that's it in the, shakes. I would have thought oh, that... <laughs> You are on. I'm on one today, man. <laughs> you yeah, are. Really are. I'm about to cancel myself. I need to get out of here, man. A handler is um, needed. A handler is needed. This is a random uh, reference there. Freddie Roach, the boxer, yeah. trainer. Yikes. Wowzers. And, and he and Shen's gonna get the brunt of it. Why are you working yeah, with that Asian yeah. hate? Why don't you stick up for our kind? <laughs> We got sucker punch in the street. You know you eat pussy like Eric said. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Not like that. Uh, <laughs> Poor Chin. Chin's like, please get me out of this. I'm going to go eat some condom fish right now. <laughs> Which we will have an update on Chin's uh, eating habits later. Good. We already kind of watched Good. this one. There's the clip called uh, Another Thievery Example for the com Compendium, whatever that word means. Uh, PP stains in the front posted it. It's just he stole that joke about fucking his way out of the sauna from Superbad. Yeah, yeah. So let's go to or one of those Judd Apatow movies. Right. <clears throat> this one is a little long. We can cut it short. Let me know when you want to stop watching it. Sure. It's called uh, Callan speaking in his quote, I absolutely deny all the allegations against me, end quote, voice. Posted by Leech Schwab. <laughs> let's see here. Hello, my fellow Minecticers. I'm on Minecta. I'm very excited about this platform. My good friend and a man I admire very much, Patrick Bed David, started this app with the genius idea that a lot of times you don't need to be paying an hourly rate. You don't need somebody for that long. You need somebody maybe for just a couple minutes. Gadoosed himself right there, dude. I last half hours, dude. Oh, I see. You know what I mean? Yikes. Yeah, dude. That's that's for, that's ridiculous. And then he's Plugging some horrible app from a scam artist that's going to pay people instead of an hour or less. They don't get paid an hourly rate. So that's probably illegal in California. I don't know. But, um, yeah, all this, he does these, like, grift, grifting bullshit things, and then he gives these speeches where he's like, listen, a lot of the woke left media don't want me to tell you about this. But me and my friends, Patrick, Bet David, um, Gavin McInnes, Nick Fuentes, all my good buddies, Patrick Cratter, Rick DeSantis, we can't, Rick DeSantis, <laughs> Joe Biden, all these people. Okay, we we came together and we talked and we discussed how important it is for you to take Alpha Brain. <laughs> like it's always some stupid. At the yeah. end of the stupid speech, yeah. there's a supplement that he's selling you. Focus. <laughs> yeah. And if you don't take it, you think that trans people should force your son to become trans. That's what you think. That's what you think. And that's okay. Yeah. If They always have, like, this weird justification that doesn't even exist. They'll be like, if you think it's fine to, like, force uh, trans people to be the head of our military, that's your opinion. Okay? <laughs> but me personally, I'm going to be taking 
my naps on my Helix mattress, okay? <laughs> and if you can't sleep at night or maybe you were fine with your son being trans, it sounds like you need therapy with better help. The, are you tapped in, okay? Because I'm tapped in. I take focus. You, If if you take focus, then I don't want to take it because you sound like a redact. <laughs> it's not helping you. You look horrible. Yeah, dude. A lot of these guys have problems with their eyes. I don't get a lot of sleep personally. I'm working too much. But my eyes, they're not great, but they're not that bad. Dude, I don't want to do this on earwaves. You got beautiful eyes, daddy. <laughs> I shouldn't call you Thank daddy you. when I say that. Yeah. <laughs> we went a step too far. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> Pull it <them> back in. <laughs> Pull it, go back to your helix mattress. <laughs> All right, Lizzie. And that makes so much sense. The stupid music, too. <laughs> the advice. Think about the advice that made a difference in your life. No. Okay, so what advice made a difference in your life? My, I mean, none from him. There's if you have advice in your life and it came from Brian Callen, that's come on. I wish I could I could pay Brendan Chop for the advice he gave me. Just two words, dude. What? Say less. Yeah, there yeah. you go. That's it. I wish Brian would have heard that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Boom. Oh, really, dude? <laughs> yeah, dude. Two words for me. An- Boner alert. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's not really mm-hmm. advice, but for yeah. sure, dude. Mm-hmm. Hour to hear it, or to take a couple minutes, maybe even a couple seconds. Right? A lot of times. <laughs> right? <laughs> I can't believe this, dude. I love when people say right at the wrong time. Like, <laughs> like you're trying to make a definitive point. It takes a couple minutes, a couple seconds. Right? Right? Am I Good. right, guys? <laughs> this is just like that stupid Crowder speech he gave. Yeah. The woke media doesn't want me to tell you in my car about this app my friend made who paid me to say this. <laughs> it just says something. And you go, wait, wow, yes, yes. And then you make a decision that sends your life in a complete... That's a word he's not used to hearing. <laughs> completely different and better direction. Well, anyway, that's what I'm here for. And I think I'm a little qualified, by the way, because I'm, 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 I've been alive for over half a century. That doesn't mean I'm smarter than you, but I've definitely made more mistakes than you have. And I've yeah. wasted way more time chasing the wrong things this guy if he was in the star wars universe would be making videos for the empire he'd be like listen (laughs) yeah a lot of these people out here they're jedis right they want you to save the world no okay the empire and the dark the the death star is very it's a great place all right the darth vader darth vader think about all the great things darth vader has done Remember when that guy was being like annoying and Darth Vader did the <laughs> and just strangled him to death in front of all of us? Yeah. That changed everything. <laughs> he just sucks. Yeah. Listen, Senator Palpatine has a new skincare routine that is <laughs> excellent. It's called Thunder or Lightning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lightning skin. Supplements yeah. in the fucking Darth Vader or in the Star Wars universe. Hilarious. For the Empire. They're killing all the Jedi children and he's like, uh, a lot of people are talking about the Jedi children, but like, think about how smart you could be, dude, <laughs> if you took Kratom. <laughs> Stormtroopers have Kratom yeah. bottles. They're just like, they're in their white suits and they're pouring Kratom. In a- <laughs> I bought a new Ford Lightning and it's kind of a lemon. Thank God for Cloud City. <laughs> <laughs> Lando over at Cloud City Fixums. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I brought up Star Wars because again I don't know I any love, of the references. I could do this all day, dude. You could do it. Yeah, you take over, bro. You. I'm fucking, a fucking nerd, dude. Gerardo, take the wheel, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I I couldn't. All I could think of was Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, my buddy, my buddy Brendan Schaub has a mush mouth, much like Boss Nas, which is why we take Boss Nas pills filled with kratom. He's also like one of the aliens in the bar. You know, the Han Solo mm-hmm. walks in. He's yeah. an alien that. Han Solo shoots immediately. You my, shoot first at Brian Callens at the bar. My buddy's down at the Moss Eisley Cantina are putting on shows all over the country. <laughs> Instead of wham, 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 like the music gets... <laughs> <laughs> oh, one of the fucking shows. Dude, Power Scissor, Haphazard, somebody's got to put Shop's face on all of them and just put... put, up, put, up, put up. And Brian's giving his speech. He's like, listen... My friend Jabba the Hutt made this app. It's called Monectiner, blah, blah, whatever. And I just, you know, all these guys, these these people I'm friends with, Darth Vader, uh, Bubba Fett, um, the, what's the, who's the red guy? Darth Maul, okay? All of the drones, okay? These are good guys. We all know that. 
They're not like these freedom fighters. <laughs> <laughs> I never took Blue Chew until my friend Darth Maul showed me both his sabers, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, they, he says they're gay. <laughs> dude, Darth Maul's got a cock on him, dude. I mean, that guy's fucking hot. I'm not gay, but I would suck his red <laughs> dig. I don't give a fuck how big the hole com- in the back of my head becomes, dude. All right, we'll stop. We'll Freeze stop. me in that stuff Han Solo was in because I have a hard on yeah. daddy. Ever heard of it? Boner alert. Oh, really, dude? <laughs> oh, really, Darth? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so worth it. Let's yeah. see. I mean, we could end the clip there. Yeah, fuck so, it. That's enough. If you have questions. Fuck about- you. <laughs> Shut up, you stupid moron. <laughs> no one wants your stupid speeches. <laughs> clown oh okay let's check in with uh chin one more time yeah this will be the last clip of the day dude we've been uh cooking today dude i like the idea of you know how i'm like we're usually nice and i always talk about how like we don't go too far i want someone to do, to take me saying that and then isolate him and be like fuck, <laughs> with him fuck on the you stupid moron <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right uh, so this one's posted by haphazard it's called how to make breakfast sandwich the chin way how to make a breakfast sandwich the chin way so we're going to catch it back up with uh, Chef Chin here. No fish were caught. <laughs> Good work, Hap. Yeah. Just more, dude. Explosions next time, dude. Or, I mean, I I don't tell the chefs what to do. Yes, I yeah, take yeah. that back. Do whatever you think. But that was great. But I, I'm begging for a Moss Eisley, Cantina, Brennan Shop. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That would be a fucking Netflix, dude. One more time on this, because I'm going to try to make it. Cheese. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Ah, oh, snap. <laughs> oh, he put paper on the cheese. It's crazy right now. It's right in my face. This is keto bread, so it's only one carb per slice. Gross. So this is Gross. basically a low carb breakfast. Dude, that Dave's bread is fucking see. good, dude. Oh yeah. Isn't that gluten free? Uh I don't know, but Dave's bread is amazing. I, I don't know if it is or not. Probably not. It's delicious. It's too delicious. I've been losing weight, daddy. So Yeah, I'm dude, not, check out Gerardo. Dude. I'm not eating any bread. For tortillas dude, here's my anything. one tip that you guys didn't ask for. I think Trader Joe's, and you may already know this. Ever heard of it? We can't have a whole episode where we're ripping on plugs. And no, no. It's, well, they're not paying me. <laughs> their their gluten free shit is good. Their cookies, oh, dog, real? and I eat them, and I don't gain weight unless my scale is broken, which it might be. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not getting a new one, dude. So play the clip, Jen. <laughs> I made a difference. <laughs> a little bit. The cheese is kind of melting. All right, so this is what we're working with right now. Slice of bread with some melted cheese on it, slightly melted, two eggs, uh, they're bomb. basically over easy. <laughs> Another slice of bread with mayo, and I got two slices of bacon. Got my son kissed here, diet. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny how he's not even addressing the gunshot. The this diet. is a small <laughs> thing that bothers me about certain guys. Yeah. is like, Especially guys in media, they have like, specific drinks that they like random sodas or they're like diet sun kiss is better than the other sodas and like, i got my orangina here it's yeah. like nah dude i got my natural mountain spring water water only or rain energy rain. drink dog not yes. that bang shit okay mm. rain yeah bang can go eat a fucking if you come in here with a red bull you're a duck <laughs> hawk juice hawk. more like red duck <laughs> let's see here let's you know why it gives you wings Cause you're a dick. Best brains. Dude, let's just take a moment of sounds for <laughs> the good douching of all Red Bull. Let's see. By the way, I'm listening to a podcast in my ear. <laughs> so I can't hear the Joe Rogan, yeah. as per usual. Bacon. Bacon. Egg. And the yolk. I Once I take a bite of that, it's going to gush in my mouth. All right, here we no. go. First bite. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> The yolk was the other way around. That is damn good. The egg makes it so much better. It balances it out. Expert. Just through all that Expert. saltiness. Damn, that sun's gonna burn me. I do this all the time. There's a piece of paper and the cheese. He said, Still, he said delicious paper. with yeah. paper. There's, there was clearly a bite of that paper taken. Yeah, and he just didn't address. Let's see, is it? 
Let's see. Yeah, see, there's a bite. There's a bite <laughs> taken like out of the paper, dude. It's like the fish, yeah. dude, but real. Yeah. <laughs> Half actually CGI'd a bite. <laughs> there's a piece of paper and the cheese. Still, there's just paper. It's still delicious. Dude, that would be such a good, like, um, way of describing the show. Like, if, you, if you're, like, a show's not perfect, you know, it's kind of blockbuster. You yeah. go, like, how, do you, how do you like tea fat And you just go, there's a piece of paper in the cheese. <laughs> If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well done, Dude, Hab. Yes. Good job. That was great. Good job, brother. I would love... Good job, Bubba. <laughs> dude, we should start doing cooking segments. What are we doing here, dude? We should. Wow. Are you, you're not a good cook, huh? No. I mean, I a lot of people have done the cooking things really well. Here's another plug. Ever heard of it? Henry's Kitchen. Great cooking show. Oh, uh, what's his name? Henry something? Uh, yeah, yeah. Fuck, I forget. It. Was it Henry Phillips? Yes. Yes. Um, but it can't be you cooking. It's got to be me because I'm the chin. You know what I'm saying, dude? That's true. You should be cooking. Yeah. I'll do the gunshots. I'll just shoot yeah. guns in the air outside. That'd be lit, dude. Because yeah. you know I got guns. <laughs> <laughs> show them, B. All right, well, that's it. See you next week. Bye.